Just because we're talking about religion and cults on this channel does not mean that it needs to be depressing. And I'm like the last person who ever wants to be depressing. I can barely take anything serious. <laughs> the channel i'm tina marie j happy freaking monday i did not have a very good monday i hope your monday was better than mine but it's all good in the hood bro because you know what every day is a new day for new opportunities new growth and new possibilities First off, I just want to say thank you to whoever recently subscribed to the channel. And I've said this before, it doesn't matter how many subscribers I have on this channel because I treat this channel as if I have like thousands of subscribers just because I just appreciate you guys all so much. I've spoken to many of you and you've expressed to me that you are ex-Jehovah Witnesses. I've never been a Jehovah Witness, though I have done a Jehovah Witness series on the organization. I just wanna speak a little message to XJWs or to any of you out there who clicked on this video because you're thinking about leaving the JW organization. Leaving a church or leaving a religion that you were born into or that you grew up in is very difficult. I was a part of a church called International Church of Christ for seven years, but before that, I did grow up in Christianity and Christianity is all I've ever known. And I was a pretty hardcore believer. I started to take my faith and my belief real seriously when I joined the International Church of Christ. After leaving, which was two years ago, I slowly started to make my way out of religion. I really opened my eyes up to so many different things and I just saw things in a very different perspective so I can understand how it feels when you have been a part of something for so long and you've known this truth for so long and then suddenly you start to see it diminish and you start to realize like oh crap I don't feel the same way that I used to. I don't believe the same way that I used to believe. I don't believe in the same things I used to believe in. I know it could be difficult, but trust me, you got this, you could get through it. So though I'm not an atheist, I do lean more towards believing in a higher power, not so much a specific person or a specific deity. Specifically for those of you who are leaving the Joe Witness organization or are thinking about leaving or have already left and you may be going through some things if you were born into that organization I can imagine that it's very difficult because that organization is very strict and it's very inclusive it's like a special VIP and that's how my church that I was a part of was only special people were chosen you were a chosen one God chose you to be a part of this organization trust me I heard it all before one thing that many people are afraid of when it comes to deciding to leave their church organization or religion are losing friendships losing relationships losing family members unfortunately as screwed up as that is it does happen, it happens way too often, and it really bugs me because I just don't like bullies and I feel like a lot of religions are bullies. You could just basically call them religious bullies. Religious bullies are people who claim to be religious, yet they have very conditional love. And when you decide to leave that religion or to leave that organization, and you tell them how you really feel inside about what's going on, and they decide to shun you, those are religious bullies. Religious bullies who are willing to shun are typically those type of people who make you feel like crap when you don't do what they say that you're supposed to be doing. And they just come off very critical and judgmental rather than having a genuine, sincere care about you. My religious bullies shuns. I was ignored when I was seen in the streets by these people and they made sure that my exit was not an easy one. Thankfully this is not everyone's experience and I am not looking for any sympathy. I have healed from that. However, 
I do sympathize with those of you who are going through this right now because I know that when you're still fresh out of religion or fresh out of your church, it's very difficult and it's heartbreaking and it really does suck. I know you have to go through a whole judicial meeting, which I personally think is really stupid. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Just know that you're not on your own. You're not alone. There are many people out there who are currently going through what you're going through and people who have already gone through what you're going through. The road ahead is going to be difficult. It's going to be bumpy because when you were born into a specific organization or a specific religion, your entire life encompasses that whole organization and religion. This set of beliefs that you didn't necessarily choose to believe, but you were taught to believe. Like for me, I didn't have a choice to believe in God. I didn't have a choice to believe in heaven and hell. I didn't have a choice to believe in Jesus and him dying on the cross for my sins. I was given that, that role and taught this is what you do as a Christian and this is how you are to behave and these are things you are to do and are to not do. That was it. That was basically my identity. It wasn't until recently that I realized that identity, it takes a lot for me to work for. It takes a lot for me to try to hold up to those standards and the reason it takes so, so much out of me is because it's not really who I am. So maybe as a Jehovah's Witness, you don't feel like this is who you are but that you were told this is who you are. You were told this is your identity. You may have been raised to believe in these things and you were not given the choice. You were not given the free will. Rather, you were just handed on a platter, nothing but religion. And now you're at a point in your life where you are realizing that you don't want to be a part of it anymore. And it's scary. It is a very scary feeling. The advice I would give to those of you that are going through this right now is to hold on tight as if your life depends on it because technically your life does depend on it. Your life depends on you to stay strong because there are times in our life where we have no one to stay strong for us. We only have ourselves, and we need to be strong for ourselves. It was hard for me because I felt like I was the only one going through what I was going through when I left the church and I had to tell some of my friends I'm not a Christian anymore even though they're still Christians. It was very difficult and to this day it's so hard because not everyone knows that there are certain things I don't believe in anymore. I don't quite feel 100% ready to tell everyone and that's okay because we need time. We need time to heal. We need time to really reflect and to really think about if this is even what we want. Before we decide to break the news to people, it's not an easy task. Either way, no matter what path you choose, no matter what direction you decide to go and make sure that you are there for yourself, that's something you're gonna have to learn to do is to be there for yourself. And that's one thing about religion is that we're not really taught how to be there for ourselves. We're taught how to have other people to depend on to be there for us and for God to be there for us. But what if you no longer believe in God? What if your feelings and your, your beliefs and your thoughts about God is starting to shift? Then who else do you have? You have yourself and there is nothing wrong with having yourself. If that is a path you do decide to choose to completely leave religion altogether, then you have no other choice really other than to learn to rely upon yourself and to trust your instincts and to just learn to be happy with who you are and to accept who you are. And don't be so hard on yourself because as an ex-Christian, you are going to have so many people out there that are going to be hard on you. So you don't need to do it. You have others to do it for you. What I always tell people is they need to learn to love themselves because as much as many of us think we love ourselves, we don't love ourselves as much as we should. We're very critical of ourselves. We judge ourselves too easily. We're hard on ourselves and we blame ourselves way too much sometimes. When you finally get to that place, where you can learn how to love yourself more it becomes easier this entire journey of deciding what you believe in or what you're gonna do with your life becomes so much easier once you know how to love yourself now I know that the hardest part is losing family and I admit I have never been through that I mean I have empathy for you but I've never been through that so I cannot sit here and say oh don't worry about it because I know for me that would be really difficult it was different when I had friends shun me but to have your own family shun you I just cannot I cannot grasp the 
understanding in that type of twisted, retarded, freaking thinking. I'm sorry I use the word retarded. I literally use it just for this because I. it's just, you know what, when I talk about it, it just makes me angry. Unfortunately, the Jehovah Witness organization is a cult. Yes, I freaking said it. It's a cult. How could you do something like that and not see it as being a cult? If that is something that you're facing and something you're dealing with, I send the most positive vibes straight to you because honestly, I don't know how people go through it. I don't know how people do it, but I know that when you do see yourself going through it and you're still maintaining, you're still living, you're still finding the strength to wake up in the morning and to take on the day, that's your strength and you need to realize that you need to understand that that is your freaking strength right there and you need to hold on to that and give yourself a hell of a lot of credit because that's something that you did no one else because not everyone has that strength but you did it and that is something that i definitely applaud you for and if you have not gone through that yet but you're currently fearing going through that or you're currently going through being shunned by your family this is going to be a hard road for you a very tough realization it's gonna be heartbreaking you're gonna want to cry you're gonna get mad you're gonna have days where you're gonna feel like maybe you don't even want to survive you don't want to live anymore forget religion forget belief systems a person who is a real genuine human being would totally understand that that has got to be one of the most heartbreaking things to go through is being shunned. Think about it like this, you have no other choice other than to be strong. You can learn to get through things, no matter how tough things are. We still find strength, and sometimes the only way you can find that strength is by going through it. Anyone could be in a bad situation, but not anyone can get through the bad situation. So you make the choice, to get through the bad situation. It's okay to cry, it's okay to get angry. It's okay. Do not sit there though. Do not settle in that. Allow yourself to find the strength to pull through. Even though this is mainly supposed to be for Jehovah Witnesses, this really is a message for anyone. Whether you are a part of religion or not, an ex-JW, an ex ICOC member, ex-Mormon, whatever you're going through, allow yourself to go through that because you're stronger than what you think. Trust me you are because I have seen strength for myself that I had no idea I had and I've been through a pretty rough past two years. Allow yourself to go through the process. Allow yourself to heal. No one said it's going to be easy, but that does not mean it's impossible. That doesn't mean that you can't do it. That doesn't mean you can't get through it. You can get through it. You just have to hold on tight. Fasten that freaking seatbelt and take the damn ride. Take it like a G, because let me tell you, you're going to go through things in life. You're going to go through a lot of crap in life. Some people have it easy. They don't go through a whole lot in their life. Some people just, oh, here goes your perfect life on the platter. And then there's people like us. We have to work for the things we want in our life. We got to work for those goals, those dreams. We got to work for our happiness. We got to work for our joy. We have to work for our contentment. Some of us has to really put in the work, and that is okay. But sometimes life is gonna knock us down, it's up to you, you get up, you do what the hell you gotta do, and you keep rolling. As long as you're still alive, you keep on going with it, keep going through it, and you'll be fine. I know everything I'm saying is easier said than done, but I do know what pain feels like, and I do know what hurt and rejection feels like from people that you love, that you thought loved you. I know what that feels like, and that sucks like all hell. You have to love yourself. And when you learn who you truly are, and you learn this is my identity, and if other people can't accept it, that's not my problem, that's their problem. Because right now, I'm gonna work on me. I'm gonna work on making me happy, finding what makes me happy, what gives me joy, what makes me feel so alive. When you find that thing that makes you feel alive, you hold on to it, and you keep going with it, because that's what's gonna get you through every single day that you're going through whatever you're going through, including whatever you're gonna go through in the future because we're always gonna have things we're gonna go through you hold on to that thing that keeps you alive for me it's my YouTube videos and my writing and helping other people you're gonna get through everything with the biggest strongest heart with that strength you'll be able to help someone else down the line trust me it works so I provide coaching for people who are going through spiritual trauma who've left religion or have left a cult by helping people to understand exactly what they're going through, be able to embrace it, 
and learn how to carry on. All I do is give you the tools and the strategies that I use for myself. With that, I include a lot of affirmations. It's all about changing the way you think. Once you're able to change the way you think, you're able to change the way that you respond to situations in your life. I also have a clarity coaching session call that I do with people who don't necessarily want a whole program. Anything you need advice on, it's a per session rate. And I have all the information on that on my website, which is down below in the description box. Do a free discovery call with me first before deciding that you wanna do coaching. And if you want to share your story, send me an email, hbhl at yahoo.com. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I love you guys.